okay hey you guys and welcome back to my channel so today i just wanted to share a quick video with you guys um this is um something that you guys hardly ever see on my channel but i thought i might want to share with you guys because i think it's a great and awesome idea and maybe you want to do it this year um well it was placed on my heart last year to do this but I wasn't able to do it because I didn't meet the deadline so I just want to share this with you guys and get this video up to you in case you are interested in doing this so this is the Samaritan's Purse um, operation basically it's just given to children in need all over the world um, if you want to know more about it I would advise you to definitely look it up research it get a better understanding of it but this is what we're doing this year um the lord has you guys when the lord speaks to you it's like you better adhere to it but all this week this past week it was placed on my heart ebony you need to go get a box you need to go get a box you need to go get a box and i'm like okay 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 i'll go get a box so I went and got the box and let me just tell you guys really the backstory. It's really exciting to see kids get excited about Christmas, but Halo is getting old enough. She's five years old. She has to understand the true meaning of Christmas and also understand that it is better to give than to receive. Um, ever since the toys, the, not the Toys R Us, but the toy ads have came out from Walmart and Target. Every single morning when she gets ready for school, she goes downstairs. First thing she wants to grab is that ad and I we was doing our normal routine and I was getting her breakfast ready and the Lord was just like look at your child you need to teach her now teach her now and so I was being obedient and as soon as I dropped her off I went and got these boxes um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby however you don't have to have a um, plastic box you can do just a regular shoe box um but just doing my research um a young lady did a video and she said that she knows someone that went where they was giving these boxes out to young kids and they use the boxes they actually use them for different things the plastic bins they can reuse them as opposed to like a regular cardboard box um however these boxes are just like what two dollars three dollars from hobby lobby but that's nothing you know compared to what these kids don't have something simple like this will just brighten their day and one thing about me if you guys know me i love to see a smile on my child's face that's why I do the things I do. But I wanted her to get an understanding. I set her down. We talked to her and explained to her that there are kids less fortunate. And we wanted her to take her money and fill up a box. So this time I'm going to do a boy and a girl. Um, I just, it was just placed on my heart to do a boy and a girl. So I told Hala, you pick out the toys and you're going to pay for them. So that's what we did. Um this operation is going from november the 18th through the 25th um and it, if you go online it'll tell you where you can drop a box off in your location so like i said this is a really 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 awesome idea i would recommend for anybody to do it um whatever is placed on your heart let me just say that what, however you choose to do you do whatever is placed on your heart and this was placed on my heart um here is kind of like the little brochure and i picked it up and i read a little bit on it and i have been reading a little bit online but it gives you the steps to follow on how to pack the box but i want to let you guys know that number one really touched my heart because it says and you don't see this in most charities or things like that it says number four it says most importantly pray for the child who receives your gift including personal note and a photo it makes a big impact um we haven't did the photo i'm gonna have halo draw a picture of herself and put it on there and she can write a little note to the boy and little girl whoever received that and that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna show you guys the things that halo picked out we did go to just the 99 cent store and i know somebody might say well why you just didn't buy something more expensive because you have to understand i'm i'm teaching my child that it does not matter um the price to get her to understand just to make a big difference in the child's life to with her little money that she had i wanted her to be able to 
pack the box as much as she could and let her get an understanding and a feeling of it. And then the, as the years go on, I want to make this a tradition to where she can save up and she can add as more as she want. Because as you guys can see, this is just a regular shoe box, a shoe size um, shoe box. So that's why we did it like that. But let me share with you guys the things that we packed. And they just asked for um, things for school supplies, uh, toiletries, um, a little wild toys, what they call it. And no food or anything like that so let me just share with you guys what we got for the little boy so starting off halo picked out a little motorcycle car and like i said things like this would just brighten up their day they they're not like our kids to where they know about um lol you know these are the things that excite them most so i just wanted to stay on that and then we packed a little truck in there as well uh, a jump rope another little car here and I took everything out of the packaging because if I would have left some of the stuff in the packaging it wouldn't fit in the box we picked up some socks and this is a three pack of socks here Halo also she wanted to, she we went to McDonald's after we um I let her have McDonald's after we went and got the toys. And she was like, Mommy, I don't need this. I want to give it to the little boy, too. So I said, okay. So I let her put that in there as well. Um, she put picked up some puzzles here. The hygiene, we just I just got like a little toothbrush. So now I kind of know even I can also just like... You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, you guys, it says no, um, like, guns and things like that. So I might have to take this out. Yes, because it says Star Wars. So you don't want anything to say war or anything on it. So I'm going to take that out. Uh, we got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I think it's going to still go off. So I'm going to have to tell her that we won't be able to uh, use this because it says nothing that says like war or anything on that. So, um, so that was mommy's mistake for not paying attention. It's still going to keep going off. Uh, I also put a comb and brush in there, a pencil, some crayons, a little frozen book and a coloring book so that's what's in the little boys thing and i'm going to have to go back and just look for an another toothbrush for the young little boy that will receive this box so let me share with you guys what we got for the little girl so we have some headbands here little jewelry things came in a pack so we got that of course, we got her some cute little socks here. Really cute. A jump rope. See, now I'm going to go back and get just like a little toothbrush like this. If I can find it like a little SpongeBob or something like that. So, she has a Shopkins toothbrush. A doll. Some puzzles. A little play pack, fun pack, frozen book, a pencil there, a coloring book, and some crayons as well. So like I said, if you are um, interested in doing something like that, a little goes a long way to put a smile on a kid's face that is more likely not to receive anything for Christmas but receiving this will make their day like I said definitely look it up it's called the Samaritan's Purse you guys get definitely check into it read up on it um and spread the word you know it's, it's all about the season of giving it's better to give than receive and so I'm glad I'm going to be starting this tradition with Halo this year. So I had said instead of me just buying for somebody I know, I'm going to give to somebody I don't know that this year um, is what I'm going to do. So 
I will have everything a link down in the description box below in case you guys are interested in it. And like I said, if you do, don't get anything like this because they don't want things like this. So Halo can keep this little toothbrush or maybe I'll just keep it in a stash and if she has a little birthday party or something to go to, they can have it. But I'm definitely going to... um look for a toothbrush for the um young little boy i also was trying to look for um soaps and things and towels but for whatever reason they don't have none of their christmas soaps out in my stores just yet walmart or target dollar store none of them you know i wanted to have them to have like a little nice little soap or something you know those things they you know they really do enjoy and need as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um like i said if you do it Please share this video as well. Get others inspired to give back to a kid that's less fortunate. And like I said, a little goes a long way, you guys. Remember that just to put a smile on another kid's face. So, um, yes, I love you guys all and I'll talk to you later. Bye.